Alright, welcome back everybody. We're on to part two, or episode two, I should say, of the battle for Washington. I'm getting my, my troops resupplied over here in Fort Stevens. And what I'm planning to do as best I can here is try to inflict casualties. He's going to have some reinforcements that are making their way up under Hooker. So we're going to let them kind of break on my lines, and then we'll make the advance when it seems like a good time to do so. Get over there and take Fort Slocum. Looks like he's largely abandoning these positions in favor of reinforcing the fort over there. Everybody's pulling out, for the most part, over toward this position. Here comes Fort, uh, Hooker's reinforcements. We're going to let them get jacked up on our lines as best we can. And after I've repelled some of his counterattack, that's when I'll go ahead and advance on the fort. I don't want to go headlong into these fresh troops that are coming in. I'm back the Orphan Brigade up a little bit here. Put them back behind these troops under Hampton. So he's going to try to hit me pretty hard over here on my extreme right. I'm going to come out here and hit this unit on his left with my cavalry. See if we can't just wipe them out. Uh, looks like he's hitting me pretty hard over here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's back off. Alright, I'm just keeping an eye on these numbers. Right now i got about a 26,000 man advantage. I'd like to see that go up a little bit before I go after Fort Slocum. I could probably pull everybody out except for one brigade here. Another lieutenant general killed, my goodness. Pull Lily back too. I don't want to wait too long just because I don't want supply to become an issue. These guys should be coming into my sniper range here in a second. Light them up, boys.
All right, he's very few troops left in these fortifications here, so I think it's probably time to go ahead and push the line out. Meanwhile, I'll just kind of hold tight right here on this side. Let some more of these units come at me. Don't run, guys. Don't run. All right, so it's a 27,000 man advantage now. So the number begins to uh, become a bigger and bigger percentage advantage as this moves along. Oh, wow, we just got lit up from multiple sides there. That was not, not pretty. Drake surrendered. Let's get him out of there. I've got to deal with this battery. He's causing all kinds of problems for me. Got some ammo issues here. Wow, these guys have lost 1,400 men. Let's go ahead and drop them out. Whoa, slow down, Haney. I know you're after that battery, but my goodness. Okay, so the, now we're switching, and we're going to uh, kind of change gears and head over to the flanking attack. So, like I said at the beginning of the first episode, did not put a lot on this side over here. Mostly just put a few units just because I had to have something there. My main thrust over here is going to come from these units. And I think I'm going to go... Well, it seems kind of obvious that I'm probably going to have to take this fort first. So, let's go ahead and start the advance. Numbers at least at the moment he's got an advantage so I've got to be cautious though I expect a lot of those numbers are, are not going to be in this first fort but I think I want to wait until I get more of my troops before I 
continue this. So I will drop out and come back when my reinforcements arrive and I'm ready to launch my attack. Okay, so two hours to go in this part of the mission. And I'm just about in position to start moving my forces forward here. Looks like on the battlefield I've got just a slight advantage now of about 7,500 men. But of course I, I won't run into all of them at once. So as soon as these couple of brigades get where they need to be, I'm going to start moving forward. I haven't seen anybody yet. But I'm sure they're holding these defensive positions here. If he has enough men to hold them. It looks like maybe he doesn't. Interesting. These fortifications all appear to be empty. Which is good in one sense, but in another, I'm a little nervous that that means he's got his men concentrated somewhere. I gotta move my guns up. I'm not quite in range. Ah, I know. I want to keep my cavalry close if I can here. All right, run. Problem is my second tier of units here is not going to get there as close as I'd like them to. So when these first ones route, I'm not going to have the second ones in there to push through. And now we're catching up. Come on, boys. Here we go. Drive them out.
All right, now let's hold here. Kind of regroup. Let my troops get their condition back. Fire from the fortifications. I can bypass this altogether. I have no reason whatsoever to attack that right now. Because my next goals are Washington and Fort Washington, which is right here. And again, no hurry on making this happen. So we'll get into a defensive position here. See what he chooses to do, but I definitely want to kind of let my men get their condition back. So I'll probably go ahead and drop out here, and once the action recommences, I'll come back in. All right, so a few minutes left in this part of the mission, and what I'm doing is I'm holding most of my troops here trying to inflict some casualties. I did start sending a force down over here to occupy the city and eventually help with this crossing here. But it looks like my men are doing fine on their own. I just took these two brigades across, and I was about to send some cavalry over here to hit them in the rear to kind of shore things up, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have to do that. So I'm going to start moving, moving them over, keep them in the cover here, try to drive this other brigade off as well. And I'm going to wait for these units to make their way over into the city. And of course we're going to be on to the next part of the mission here in just a minute. Okay. So we're back up north now. Now we need to go and take Fort Slocum. General Waller forces assault the city. We must prevail in the northern sector, then march down and destroy the last opposition. We have to secure Fort Stevens and the nearby forts, or else our army will remain split in two parts and vulnerable, forcing us to retreat. Attack and take the forts. All right. Fort Slocum, Fort Washington, the only two still not in my hands. I'm going to keep pushing this line forward here. don't think he's got all that many men left on this side. Yeah, he's only got 14,000. Alright, we got an ammo issue over here. Bring up the supplies, what little we have. Two and a half hours, I gotta go get Fort Slocum here. I 
gonna get up here and get Cobb's Legion some ammo. Right, I'm gonna wait on my left flank until this right flank moves up a little bit, catches up. Paper Collar Brigade, break off some skirmishers, go get those supplies for me. I use Hampton to drive the supplies that way right into these guys. They got nowhere to go. I hope there's something there. I'm guessing the fact that they're just randomly moving toward my lines means it's probably empty. But we'll find out right now. No, it's almost full. Look at that. That's helpful. Get over here and resupply these men. We're about to take a fort. Now oh, there's another group of supplies here that I may or may not be able to grab. They're going to move back, so probably not right away. Most of these units are in pretty good supply. Drop these snipers back to start and take some casualties. Hey, there's a surrendered unit. Let's get them out of here. Just got to keep an eye on the time. Oh, wow. That's a big brigade just surrendered. Another one. Alright, what's he down to? Just 6,500 men. Of course, I'm not taking nearly my full force over to take this fort. I don't need to. Sixty-one hundred men. By the time I even get to the fort, there aren't going to be many 
Union soldiers left here. Not many men left. I'm hoping I can grab Stedman here, but it looks like maybe he's going to get away. So he's just got 1,400 men left. I think there's just these three units. just go ahead and let them well maybe I shouldn't because I've got a unit breaking that way I'm going to go try to eliminate them got some supplies glitching out over here uh, don't fire go grab him you don't fire either alright finish them off so I guess we're back down to the south now no, we're still here, but I think, oh yeah, okay, it's going to open up the whole battlefield now. So we've got f uh, five hours to go here on this part. So I think that's probably a good stopping point. I'll have to take a look and see how long this video is so far. But we'll take a pause right here and uh, come back. All right, so it looks like I'm already up near about a half hour uh, in into this second part of the Assault on Washington. So I'm going to stop right here because this next mission's five hours long. I and mean, then that's going to probably take me right into the Union counterattack. So I'm going to wrap it up right here, keep it shorter. I'm trying to make these in bite sized pieces that are a little easier, easier to digest. A um, couple things. Later on today, I'll have my channel update and question of the week coming out. So be watching for that. Uh, in the meantime, if you hit that thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. Hit subscribe as well. Coming up on 1,500 subscribers probably in the next couple of days. I can't say thank you enough for that. I know that uh, so many of you have been a big part of this channel almost from the beginning. And a lot of you have been kind of coming in along the way. And in both cases, I appreciate that. And uh, just hopefully I can continue to make stuff that you're interested in. And uh, we can keep having great conversations. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again with part three. Thank <laughs> you.